Hey everybody, this is Jim at SP500Chart.com. It's a little bit before 10 o'clock on November 6, 2013 here on the East Coast. Apologize for the delay, but it is what it is, and I had no choice. Um, we're going to make this pretty brief because it's pretty simple. And uh, just, to, um, just to help matters along here a bit, let me remind you that uh, the website and the video are for educational purposes only, and nothing stated at the site or in the video is intended for it to be uh, taken as investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research, and you need to make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I am not a licensed financial professional. I'm just a guy who draws lines on charts. Well, we uh, were talking yesterday about what appeared to be a possible inverted head and shoulders pattern. Remember, we had one back here that's highlighted in this very light green oval. Let me drag this oval right here. And here is yet another one. Um, let me do this. Let me get rid of my little weekly rectangle. Go. There we go. So here's our small inverted head and shoulders. It broke out at the open this morning. Though I remind you, it's a sad fact, but it's just in, unavoidable when you have a small pattern. Um, by the time you reach the technical significant margin of the uh, pattern breaking out, you've usually used up, well, here lately, you use up a good bit of your target just in reaching that 1%. So we're kind of in that situation with this pattern. You can see it broke out, and then we came back and got a little bit underneath that neckline for just a bit, but, uh, but then we started to bounce, and we ended the day on, on a little mini, mini, mini rally. So ending above this neckline uh, with the close, if we do that again tomorrow, then I would say, yeah, look, look for that new high up around 1782. It just, it just seems to make sense. So guys, you know, I, I think it's that simple. Remember, we were looking at this uh, descending pattern here after we broke the this blue line, which I'll remind you, this is not a legitimate trend line because it only has its starting point. The rest of the reasoning for this line existing, existing is simply the fact that it is parallel to this line right here and it goes back to a significant low. That's the only reason it exists. But we broke that and then we went down, uh, trading down in a slightly a wedgish shape, made an inverted head and shoulders pattern, and now it looks like we're breaking up out of this. Guys, there was a, back in, and I believe, was it 2010, in the fall of 2010, when we had the flash crash, which was a big thing. I mean, that was, what, a 10% a, a correction at one point, or a 10% move uh, within just a matter of minutes. When that happened, what what took place over the next number of months after that event was very similar to what we see here having taken place over the last four days, four to five days. And that is, and again, bear in mind, this is absolutely nowhere near the scale of that crash. But Remember, we had the flash crash, then we went back and forth, then we went down deeper, then we rallied back up, we came back, got over the trend line that was defined by the two tops that were in place before the crash, and then that little um, resistance that, that took place immediately after the flash crash. All I'm saying is, it, this almost looks identical to what took place at that point in time. Tell you what, let me see if I can if I can dig that up real quick for you. Okay, here we go. This is a three-day chart, which means that each month is analogous to each day in what we've seen happen lately. But we were going up in 2010, crash, came back, rallied here, 
made another low, broke out over that line, came back for a back test, and then we were off to the races. So it's funny just how similar this chart right here looks to what we're now looking at on the five minute chart. So get a mental picture of this right here and these three dips. And then I'm going to go back to the chart we were just looking at. So get, get your snapshot. And now here we are back on the 15 minute chart. We were going up, had our little dip down, came back, dipped back down. Here's our trend line drawn over the last two tops, just like we saw back then. Broke out over it, back tested, and now it looks like we've broken out over this inverted head and shoulders pattern. And I think in the next four to five sessions, I think we're going to be in the 1780s. That's just what this pattern says. And it says that because, <laughs> because we can measure the depth of this head. And then now that we know where the break, now that we know we have broken out, we can measure from that spot. My laptop is a little screwy, guys. Come on. There we go. We can measure this from the point of breakout. And we line right up with 1782. That's only 12 points higher from today's close. But that's all the chart is telling us at this point. So I say we go with it. And uh, I would expect... Um, 1782 in the in the near future so guys i appreciate you taking time to watch this video and thank you for your patience this is being late and tomorrow's video is going to be about the same time likely because i'm on the road tomorrow driving back and i've got about a 480 mile drive so guys thanks for watching take care thank you for your support